Jim, if there's one word to sum up that performance today or the, or the game today, what would it be? I need more than one word. I can't play your games, Chris. I think um, you know so, so, some excellent rugby to begin with. Um, scored some good tries. Got you know out in front, 14 points lead, and we're in in, in, in charge and in, in control of the game. And what we need to do is close out the game. And we didn't. We gave them the opportunity to came back. I don't think they sort of forced their way. We gave them that opportunity, and they took it. And 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 in the end, we were very lucky to win. The George PC's second try in, in the second half came, you could say, a little bit against the run of play and, and was very crucial. Yeah, I think when you come to places like this, you're never going to be on top for 80 minutes. It's, uh, you know, the crowd get behind the team and you're always going to have periods. But we made it too difficult for ourselves and particularly early in the second half, we ran a bit, few balls, we, we were getting turned over in our own half and we're doing things which we, we haven't practiced and we haven't been doing in the pre-season games. So we're, we're, we'll learn from it without a doubt, we can't keep doing that. But what we have done is we've come here and won and not many teams will win here at Kings Up. Given the, the the importance of the next few weeks, how vital are those four points away from home? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we we said, said before the game how vital it is to get off to a winning start, and particularly if you're playing away from home, if you can do that. But we've got to back it up now, and um, we've got extra next week. And by the sounds of it, they've uh, well, I know they're winning easily at Sale, whether they've won or not. But that, that'll be difficult. Whatever. They're a good organised side. They are. Uh, but you know, we've got a chance now of, of, of going two from two, and, and we've got to take small steps. Three debutants starting today, uh, GJ Van Veltz and uh, Ken PC and Don Waldock. How do you think they got on? I think they got on really well. I think they, um, they, 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 they fitted into our game plan very, very well and uh, really pleased. Unfortunate that GJ um, got Simbin, but that was you know, really the team being under a little bit of pressure there. And the two backs play, played very well. Ryan, the best possible start to the season for the Saints. Uh, it was never in doubt, was it? Oh yeah, I think we made it hard work for ourselves second half. Um, we started off very well, um, got on the front foot, we always started, done very well up front and, and we got the back so you can finish off a good move. So uh, yeah, we, I mean, we were well happy with the first half performance and then going down to 13 men I thought we showed a lot of great determination and that's what this side's built on hard work and, and keeping together and we spoke about before the before the before the game started and, and, and luckily we came out of the win. Would you have felt hard done if maybe you hadn't picked up the win in the end? Yeah, yeah, massively. I think, I think we're the better team on the day. Um, Gloucester, we come back at it, especially with the crowd they got us. It always gets a big atmosphere here, and, uh, and to be fair to the lads, we dug in, we kept them out, but I think we, we'll look back at the tape in the second half, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of work on it. Some good tries as well. Uh, were you pleased with how, how well the team gelled with so many new faces? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the, the signs that we've made are added to the squad. Um, Don Moore looks very good in the attack and in defence, and he's obviously got some, he's got some experience as well. And, and GJ played very well and I think the PC brothers are linking up very well on the on the edge. So yeah, it's going well. We've got we've got we've got strength and depth all over the place and, and, and potent attackers. So uh, we're looking forward to the season and as you say we've got off to a great start. You obviously know all about this place. How important is it when you come down here that you get the shed quiet and early? Massively. Uh, we, we knew the first 20 minutes was going to be big. Uh, I felt we would we dominate the game first 20 minutes, half hour, didn't give them anything. Um, our forward pack was fantastic, got them driving back and and then, and then it kind of it, it makes it easier, but as I say, you, you know coming to a place that it's going to make it tougher. Um, and, and we struggled in the last training, especially going on 13 men, it never helps. But uh, I think the boys dug in very well, and, and that's the kind of start we needed. Just very final word, a great bit of momentum to take back to the gardens next week for Exeter. Yeah, massively. Uh, Exeter's a very similar kind of side to Gloucester. Worked very hard, um, and they've got a big fan base, so I'm sure the atmosphere's going to be brilliant. But we want to make uh, Frank's Gardens a fortress this year. Um, and we're confident going into every game, but extra is going to be a tough, tough game, and we have to we have to learn from our mistakes, especially in our second half today.